even with all of the changes that has been happening in Google Ads recently, you know, the different keyword match types through to launching new campaigns like the soon to be released demand gen. One thing that has not changed in Google Ads is that Google's core goal with Google Ads is that it wants to match the user's search term with the best placed ad and landing page. And the reason for why that process of making sure that they're showing the most relevant ads and landing pages to the user's search term is so important is because Google knows that if it shows poor quality ads, which lead to poor quality landing pages, that people will lose confidence in the platform stop clicking on their ads, which then means that they get less and less revenue. And remember that Google still makes the vast majority of its money through Google Ads. So if you wanna see success with your Google Ads campaigns, you need to make sure that your ads and your landing pages are always highly relevant to the user's search term. So in this video, I wanna take you through the step-by-step -step process that I use to increase the number of conversions that all of my Google Ads campaigns receive. And this is a two-step process where we focus on the structure of our ad groups and we also structure on the ad copy that we use within our ads. So let's get straight into a screen share so that I can show you how this works. And as we get into the screen share, I do wanna let you know that this is part of my Google Ads Optimization Checklist, which is a document which takes you through all of the different individual actions or optimization actions that you need to be completing in your Google Ads campaigns. And it also lets you know how often you need to complete them whether it's every week, every month, or every 90 days. And if you've already got one of my checklists, I do need to let you know that this has been recently updated. So if you wanna get the updated version, all you need to do is to follow that link in the description below. But right now, let's go into that screen share so I can show you the structure that I use in my ad groups and my ad copy to increase the number of conversions. All right, so what I wanna take you through here is I wanna take you firstly through the structure that I use in my Google Ads ad groups. And what I wanna show you through here is that I've got a collection of different keywords. At the moment in this ad group, we've got 24 different keywords. And a couple of things with this is that they are all on one individual keyword theme. So it's really, really highly important that you only have one keyword theme in your ad group. And the reason for that is so that I can tailor the ad copy and the landing page that's gonna to relate to these keywords. So with that one keyword theme, what you wanna make sure is that all of the keywords in this ad group, even though we've got 24 different keywords, they are all highly related to each other and they all essentially mean the same thing. So even though they're using some different words, they all have the same meaning. And that's important to note, especially now, because Google Ads has updated its targeting and its keyword match types. So it doesn't target the keywords that you've entered, it targets the meaning of those keywords. So you can see here, it's everything we've got like gym manager software and fitness software, they have the same meaning. Now, what you'll also notice in here is that we have have a collection of keywords which is taking the vast majority of the impressions and clicks. And these are ones which we call our core or, or our building keywords. And these are set to phrase or broad match. And then I've got a collection of exact match keywords which may not be getting many impressions, but the reason for why they are so important is because when we go over to our ad copy, I use a strategy called dynamic keyword insertion. So what you wanna be doing in your ad groups is that you wanna be having a collection of about four different keywords, which are set to either a broad match or a phrase match. And then from there, what you wanna be doing is you wanna be building out more exact match keywords, which may not get a lot of clicks or impressions, but the reason they are there is that when you get into your ads, you're using your dynamic keyword insertion. And I will show you how the dynamic keyword insertion works, but what this actually does as you can see from here, if you look at this first headline, when we go through and scroll through, so you've got sports club management software, fitness studio software, sports club management software again, club software, and gym management software. So it doesn't matter whether someone was to search fitness software or gym management software or club software, my headline would show that keyword. And the reason for why that's so important is because we know time and time again that when the user sees in the headline, the search term or a very, very close variant, they're more likely to click on the ad. Just think about it like this, that if they were to search fitness management software, as opposed to gym management software, and they saw fitness management software, 
software, and then they saw other ads that had gym management software, they'd be more likely to click on fitness management software. So going back into our keywords again, and when we go into our ad group, you can see now the benefit of me having more keywords in my ad group. Because even though something like a gym CRM management system or gym CRM software isn't searched very often, if it does get searched, it will appear in this ad. So that's the benefit of having an ad group, which is all in one keyword theme. So you wanna keep it in one keyword theme. So all of my descriptions and my other headlines and the landing page are relevant. But by using this dynamic keyword insertion and having a collection, so a longer list of keywords, not just three or four keywords, it's making sure that it's far more likely that the user will see the search term or a very, very close variant of the search term in the headline. Now, the way that you go through and use this dynamic keyword insertion is that what you need to do is in your headline, and this works for responsive search ads, you just need to go through and press the brace or the squiggly bracket, which is that one in there. And then that pulls up the keyword insertion option. Then from there, you write in your keyword, click apply. And what this does, you can see here, is it automatically updates your ad with the keywords that caused your ad to show. So it's important to note that this doesn't insert the user's search term, it inserts the keyword that triggered their ad. So a reminder, the process that you wanna be using there is that Firstly, you wanna make sure that you're building your ad groups around a single keyword theme. And the reason for that is so that you can target your ad copy and your landing page to be highly relevant to the user's initial search term. And then what you wanna do inside of those ad groups, you wanna have those three or four more broadly or phrased match keywords. What that does is that picks up any new search trends or search terms that users are using. Because remember, up to 15% of all Google searches are brand new in that they've never been used before. And then what you do from there is you go through your search terms and when you're adding in your extra negative keywords, you're also adding in extra exact match keywords to your ad group and you add those exact match keywords for two reasons. One, they are converting search terms or two, they're highly targeted and they're search terms that you want to convert in your account. And then from there, making sure that in your ad copy that you're using that dynamic keyword insertion. And remember, this is a two part strategy. You're adding more keywords in the same theme. You're also then using dynamic keyword insertion because remember dynamic keyword insertion or DKI inserts the keyword that triggered your ad, not the user's search term. And that's the process that I use to make sure that I'm always showing my user highly relevant ads to the search term that they're searching. So thank you for joining me. My name is Aaron Young from Define Digital Academy and I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads master. And I do wanna make a really, really last important point. And that is that having that structure is only the first step of the process because for success with your Google Ads ad copy, to make sure that you're getting more conversions, your ads also need to have these four important principles when it comes to writing your ad copy. And to help you with that, what I want you to do is I want you to go through and watch this video right here. Once again, thank you for joining me. See you next time.